What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux, and today I'm bringing you guys some great news. We have double drops happening in the story. We get double drops on the normal and hard missions, and we're going to be talking about some things you want to consider with this whole weekly event. But if you guys like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys think about it. And subscribe to the channel if you appreciate what I'm doing. And hit the bell notification. That way you guys know when I'm uploading or streaming and any of that good stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Alright, so we know that... Uh, Okay, so we know that Blue Archive tweeted this earlier that we're going to be getting a double drop reward uh, going on for, like, I'm guessing the six days that we have before. As we know, these double drops do not work, though, for first time clearing and for character XP. It's just going to be for the rewards themselves, like the equipment, the skill bugs, the shards for your characters. So just wanted to get that out there. Um, but it is really, really important that you focus on this. I would almost, if you're free to play... I know you guys are doing some summons, but I would almost take a little priority in this since it's going to be double. Maybe use some gems to refresh some energy. It, this is this is going to be honestly vital for you guys to get higher up in PvP or get some of those raids done because you're getting some like development on your characters that it's doubled and you already know those wells are finna like max out the amount of energy they can use for this week. So just be prepared for that. Okay. So when we're looking at some of the missions that you want to think about, right? So obviously before this double drop happens, you want to grind up as uh, far as you can in the campaign. Like me myself, I pretty much grinded up to start getting uh, tier five gear uh, just personally. But yeah, start, start grinding up your missions because I would say this is the time to start getting your tier four and tier five gear. Grind it up like the tier two, tier three, like it doesn't require as much. So, you know, I wouldn't really focus on that. I'm talking tier four, tier five. That is what you need to use yourself for or the highest amount of gear that you can get for your account. Right. But if you're already up to being able to do mission 13, focus on that. Do not waste all of your energy on tier one, tier two, tier three gear, because like you don't even need that many to get this done. So that's what I have to say for the normal missions. Get as high as you can. That's possible for your account. And get this gear. Grind out those missions. I know it's boring. I know it is. I sat there and had to do it on stream literally the other day. Because it's it's so boring. But just get it done. And then when we're talking about hard missions, right? So we want to think about some of these units that... Oh, this is, you know. We want to start thinking about these units that are really strong right now that you want to start working up to a four star or a five star right so harana 12 3 go ahead and start working on it just just go ahead and do it you can get some really good progress on her um you have hoshino she's really good on 11 3 you have pina i heard she's really good as well for damage uh shiriko um trying to think eight three harana go ahead and work right there um hoshino so i'm kind of just like going through these characters just trying to double check like some characters like i know i see everywhere here we go and i think yeah i think that's it for right now so like of course work on the characters that you want um obviously but like hoshino harana like, go ahead and just get their um, shards to try to max them out, get them to a four star, or if you already have them a four star, at a five star. Because that's what people are going to be doing um, when you're talking about trying to get up in PvP. Like, a lot of you guys complain that there's a lot of issues with PvP on RNG. How do you make that better? You get equipment. Like, for real. Like, the equipment matters. It really does. Like, seriously. Seriously. Um, because you're um, now, this is kind of talking about skills. When we're talking about skills, we're talking about, like, the amount of damage you can do. Like, with my Izuna, this started off with, like, 200 damage. Now I was doing 700 damage. Like, there, there's things you need to really look at with these skills. And you need to take these seriously. Um, this is what's going to change the amount of damage that you're doing on your characters. I mean, 22% per damage, extra attack. Like, you really need to take these seriously. So, I even think I'm on Mashiro. Yeah. Like... 
extra 15% accuracy to help out against those Tsubakis. You guys need to take these skills seriously. So this week, I am telling you, use your energy as much as you can. As much as you can. Of course, don't break your bank trying to like, you know, buy out all the uh, pyroxenes to do it. But if you're free to play, you get a certain amount of gems every week. Like they're going to be giving us, uh, for those of you who put talk, uh, took part in the raid, you're getting at least 800 to 1200 gems. Hopefully you're in the top of rankings. And you can use those gems for that week. Because if you guys aren't summoning for most of these characters, because you're waiting on the summer and limited units, then just go ahead and take advantage of this. But that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, I just wanted you guys to just know about it. Just think about some things you weren't thinking about. But go for the tier 4, tier 5 gear. And go for those 3 stars that you're wanting to work up to a 4 star or a 5 star. Or the ones that you don't even have and you just want to get them summoned. Just, just do it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You lucky gamers. Have a good one. Lucky Lux out.